forewarn weather with four zone weather pinpointing conditions down to your neighborhood comes back a lot to talk about we heard that march comes in like a lion this month has been crazy i know right i, know. It's I mean supposed, it's, oh. it's supposed to go out like a lamb but that's a long way away right. so it's what's in between that's going to drive us a little crazy here we still have wet snowflakes out there tonight mixing in with the rain it's kind of just a mixed bag of everything rain snow and even some reports of sleet at this hour now the roads are still pretty warm but could have a couple of icy patches out there, well, at least a little bit slippery anyway. But most of what is falling is that mix of rain, sleet, and a little bit of light snow. So that's what we're expecting here uh, tonight. And as far as totaling up, well, it's going to total up just a little bit, but under an inch in most areas. So this afternoon and evening, a wintry mix. Snow will take over tonight. It'll just change over to all snow overnight. And then late in the week, here we go again with that rain snow line. Who gets snow? Who gets freezing rain? Who gets rain? Uh, that's still in question right now, but it looks like the end of the week we will have another impactful storm. Not like last week, but definitely something that we have to track here over the next several days. All right, so right now what's going on is uh, mostly that wintry mix. Even if it's showing up as rain on the radar, most of what is falling is falling as snow or sleet, which is a little bit of rain mixed in. Zooming in here for you, temperatures right now are slightly above freezing, but not that far. So 34 in Mount Clemens, 34 in Pontiac, mid 30s at Metro, also in Ann Arbor, 36 in Howell. So most of what is falling is melting as it touches the ground, but there could again be a couple of slippery areas, especially on those bridges and overpasses. Five o'clock, here we go with that rain snow mix across much of Metro Detroit. And then as we go through time by midnight tonight, it's mostly all snow. Uh, north of I-94, but really north of M-59 is where we're expecting uh, more snow than rain. And then by tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. as you're headed off to work, it's all out of here. So what do we expect by tomorrow morning at 8 a.m.? About a half inch to maybe an inch or so in most areas. A little bit more as you head up to Lapeer. They should get around an inch to two inches just to our north. My pick, we have several of them. I'll be showing them throughout the newscast tonight at five and six, but this is from Mario in Detroit. And you can see that nice layer of snow there, and it looks like a down tree branch, a little bit of a splitting here. The trees, you know, so weakened from the ice storm, and then we added to it all that snow. Uh, so it has been a, a tough weekend here for folks in Metro Detroit. Over the next several days, our temperatures are just slightly below normal, but not by much. We should be in the low 40s, and we're right around 40 Tuesday and Wednesday, but we get some sunshine over the next couple of days. So tonight, snow showers will come to an end by your morning commute, leaving us with a little afternoon sun and breezy tomorrow. Winds out of the north, 10 to 15. Future forecast, uh, dry for Wednesday and Thursday, but then on Friday, here we oh, go. Man. I know, I know, I know. It's going to be a mix, but mainly snow north of I-94. Again, something we will just be tracking. And then we spring forward this weekend. We do. We, we get do. that extra hour. It's not an extra hour. We lose an hour, though. Oh, right. <laughs> In oh, my mind, anyway. I uh, okay, you can always download light. the Forewarn Weather app. It's free, and it can give you the forecast for your neighborhood. Yeah, it's my least favorite weekend. I want that hour back. I like, though, the light, the light at night. I don't care. I want that I hour. Care. <laughs> All right. Yin and yang, right? Right. That's totally. We balance each other. All right.